So like Friday, I just finished work and uh, I have just about enough time to squeeze a run in. And given that the weather is a little bit concerning at the moment, I'll be doing this run in the gym. So according to my physio, I have weak ankles and a weak VMO, which is bringing instability um, to my knee when I'm running. So it, uh, I suppose, leads to more knee issues or knee pain. And these are a list of exercises that she recommended I do on a daily basis. And uh, I haven't been assiduous with my exercises. I kind of uh, forget about them. Um, they're not specifically, they're not difficult or anything like that. It's just, I can't get it in my brain that I have to do them. And Friday reminded me that I probably should be doing those exercises because when I was doing them, I felt great and I felt stable and I didn't have any of those niggling injuries that I've been um, having and suffering from recently. So anyway, um, let's, let's show you just what she recommended I do. So as you can see, it's typically just exercises that you can do with a exercise or resistance band. Um, and I do 10 reps, generally two sets of 10 reps for each exercise and on each side. And uh, one thing that I didn't show is that I also do one legged squats where I try to focus on engaging my VMO. Um, and it's one of the reasons why I actually use my finger when I'm doing the leg raises because I can touch um, or press on my VMO at the top of the leg lift to make sure that it's engaged and that's a good way for me to kind of keep that in mind and also see whether I'm doing it properly, progressing, so on and so forth or not. So I just got back from the run. I did about 12.5 uh, kilometers. I had to change treadmills half, well, I had to change treadmills 15 minutes in because my shoes were creating suction against the tread and yeah it was very strange but anyway so about 12.5 kilometers unfortunately the left knee is still hurting a little bit and i only found out once i stepped off the treadmill and i started limping back home um if well you know it's not good news but on the bright side this was my only run workout for the week according to my schedule um, so I'll be swimming uh, twice and maybe biking once or twice. So the knee should get plenty of time to recover and to rest. Good morning, it's Tuesday. I obviously just rolled out of bed and now I'm going to the pool. I don't have a lot of time today, so I don't know what kind of distance I'll be able to, um, to achieve or to get under my belt, but uh, we'll make do. Can you guys guess what time it is? Okay, bad news, but in retrospect, perhaps unsurprising news, my knee hurts, which means that I had to cut my workout in half. Um, 45 minutes into it, my knee just gave up. I wasn't able to push or to pedal anymore. I thought I would do a 15 minute cool down, you know, stay at least an hour on the bike or something like that, but even that proved to be too much for my knee. So I limped home, defeated and dejected. But then I sat outside and I ate my protein bar and I came to my senses and I realized that given my work schedule for this week, it's probably not such a bad idea to take some time off and let the knee heal. And I probably shouldn't be trying to compensate for last week, which was also a bit of a disappointment since I had to cut my endurance run short. But 
you know, injuries happen and I think you kind of have to roll with the punches and take the time to heal, otherwise uh, you can aggravate them and then you might put your race in peril or in jeopardy. Good morning everyone. Thursday morning and I'll be going to the pool. As always, just rolled out of bed and had a little bit of water, splashed some on my face and uh, now I'm heading to the pool. I think I'll be able to swim the whole hour today so I might get um, a decent amount of, of, uh, of swimming done today which I'm happy about. I also reserved a lane for tomorrow. Um, as I talked about earlier, my knee is hurting and I, I decided that I I would probably just uh, swim this week and maybe through the entire weekend. Um, we'll see how, how things pan out. But yeah, I guess um, <laughs> I'll be doubling my, my swimming distances this week and hopefully that puts, uh, gets me in good stead for next week. Good morning, it's Friday. I'll be heading to the pool for what will actually be my last workout of the week, or at least until Monday, um, because, well, I have to work this weekend and the shift starts uh, much earlier than the pool time slots are available, so unfortunately I won't be able to make it. Um, this has been a strange week. I feel like I've done nothing but speak to the camera. Sylvain Dillier, who's done an awful lot of work today, too. 
turns of the Smith Barber Pro Cycling Team crosses the line. The winner of stage seven of the AJ Bell Tour of Britain from the team of the Koenig Quickstep, Eva Lampert. Sprinting to victory in Hollywood Park for the Koenig Quickstep, your stage winner, Eva Lampert. Woo!